Hey, darling. So I have an amazing pick a pile, pick a card reading today. And um, I just want to show you the card. They're paired with crystals. So take a few deep breaths. Tune in with your higher self, your intuition. Maybe it's the image that you're drawn to. Maybe it's what I say when presenting the card. Maybe it's the crystal that you're drawn to. You may be drawn to more than one pile. The question that I'm asking is, what is the truth? What is the truth that needs to come out? Okay. And so that's why I've selected the Ace of Swords as well in three of my tarot decks here today. So here's pile number one. All the times timestamps will be down below. And thanks for joining me today. So here's pile one. Owl symbolism, super important in this one, as well as this beam of light. It's just standing out to me. This is called the Ace of Voices, the voice. Typically, it's the swords, the thoughts, right? But now we're talking about speaking some sort of truth with this one. Voices, song even coming in. Uh, singing your soul song. Okay. Um, also, window of opportunity is coming out here with a window, this round uh, peephole hole there, circle, full circle moment. Okay. It comes with the seer stone. Clear quartz, seer stone. Okay, that's pile one. Pile two. This is Archangel Michael. A lot of silence that comes with that one. I'm not saying anything else. The crystals are eight, two acorns here. Acorn, smoky quartz, acorn, rose quartz, two. Acorn symbolism, two crystals, and a lot of silence. Okay. And then pile three. Wow, look at that blue energy. That's what I hear. Wow, look at that blue. And it is paired with the mahogany obsidian. As I said, mahogany obsidian, pile twos, crystals rolled away from each other. That's significant. Mahogany obsidian tower. Okay. Join me. The links are down below. I love you. Welcome. If you selected pile one. And this beautiful image, the Ace of Voices with the Seer Stone, then these are your messages. Remember, this is general, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If you want your own personal private reading, all my information is in the box below. Remember to hit the like button and the bell button if you want to be notified. If you want me to ring your bell, darling. Okay, so first of all, if you pick this pile, Got to give you some background on this one, okay? And then we'll talk about some other intuitive meanings that I feel with these cards. And I've already got the tarot drawn here for you today. So I tried three times yesterday <laughs> to record this, these messages here. And there was a lot of chaos, a lot of, um, I feel like outside energy that was affecting the reading um, I felt it immediately the first time and I was like, I'm not even making any sense is what I said in the reading. And after watching it back before uploading, I was like, no, um, I was dealing with an energy that was very controlling and demanding and I kind of took over the reading and it ended up making no damn sense. So I was like, take two and then take two. Something happened in my world where everything got loud and noisy. Take three. I ran out of time. 
you know? And so it was just like, you know what? Fuck it. Like, I'm just going to do it the next day. And so there's something about the truth coming out um, in divine timing, but there might be um, an energy that like maybe you're wanting to control a situation. Maybe somebody's being very controlling and also, it's about kind of like learning to flow through the, through the chaos and that this truth will come out um, in divine timing, okay? Uh, with the seer stone here especially, uh, this is one to utilize like in your practice to like this. It, this is showing a window to the inner world of this crystal, okay? Window. I talked about already this this window I'm seeing back here, this window or opportunity. People use these to scry into to see other, you know, see future events. Even this is quartz crystal. The the um, frostiness is created through the tumbling process in a lake. Okay, um, this is excellent to, uh, for third eye opening. Okay, so you may be getting some very prophetic dreams. The seer stone, okay? Um, and even in this crystal here, there's this opening. There's this opening when I look through it. See the opening right there? It's showing you? Yeah. A window of opportunity to speak the truth. And with as your prayers have been heard is also this message here. Okay, the prayer flags and the owl is a huge, the white owl there, huge omen of change. Okay, and about trusting like your wisdom and your own, um, your own intuition is the owl. Okay, but this beam of light that comes out of the head too is, is significant, will play through the whole reading. And um, it's getting some, it's some sort of revelation um, it even feels like a divine download of information here for you. Um, see, like, cl clarity coming with this Ace of Voices. Okay. And they want me to read to you because you picked this pile, the little poem that goes with it. This is the Muse Tarot I'm using today. Aha! Aha! Discovered clarity, a calm that cuts through the clouds. The perfect truth illuminates, confused veneer that shrouds. Clarity, an epiphany, an aha moment, a flash of clarity, a fresh new revelation, a new paradigm, a visionary thinker, new goals and realities. This prompt says, flashlight of truth coming into your life. Ooh, I love that. The girl with the rainbow hair. She smiles as she opens up your way of thinking and perceiving. She knows you will see rainbow realities around her all the time. We are, we are all light, she says, and her lips glimmer with the changing hues of transcendence. And yet she winks. When we see the truth, sometimes we see it in technicolor, like a cracking open wide aha and then we give that truth its shape through clear communication. Her brilliant energy pulses and she speaks and chants. Geometric forms begin to appear in the spaces around her with every word, tone, and sound. Find clarity in thought and seeing. She begins again as new understandings are flowing down to you now. And not only will they be bolstered by logic and reason, but they will also be heavily dripped in divine knowing. That owl energy okay i love that heavily dripped in divine knowing mm. they will help you see the path ahead of you with the most beautiful of lenses the absolute motherfucking truth it's coming but there were some distractions there were some delays with this one okay um Let's get into your oracle card, too. Let me just put that book down. I don't know where to place that. Working with a small space here. <laughs> Goat energy coming into your reading. Look at all this blue. Yeah. Blue is the spirit of truth. Blue also speaks to emotional healing in your body. Spiral there. About cycles of life ending and new ones beginning. 
Think about the goat energy. Very playful. Very playful. Placeful. That was purposeful. No fucking. Okay, yeah. They're very sure footed, aren't they? They're very defiant. They're very determined. They defy, uh, which so does the absolute truth, right? Defy, they defy gravity and um, boundaries, right? Goat energy. Could have Capricorn in your chart. Could be working fucking hard like a goat um, for success. For in your business, you know, putting your head to the grindstone, you know, whatever, whatever they say there, like, yeah, it's a very determined, adamant, defiant energy, like, and like not, like totally stepping outside of the box. I mean, think about the sheer cliffs that these goats ascend, right? So, like, no herd mentality here, being completely independent. This is fascinating reading for this pro one. It's also giving me the the energy of maybe somebody is just kind of like very, it's that controlling energy again, that's very ruthless, determined, like um, not really giving a care about other people's emotions or who they're trampling in their way on, on, the, on the ladder of success. Kind of, or maybe you become a scapegoat in somebody's life. Energy. I don't know. We'll see what comes out in the reading here. But there is a need for you to protect yourself. It's come out with cedar. Cedar is that herb that I use, man. When those fuckos ain't listening to me and I really need to clear a space, I'm telling you, I'm bringing bust out my motherfucking cedar. Excuse my language. But, uh-uh, fuckos. Cedar. Okay, highly protective herb here. And with belladonna too, somebody's beautiful but deadly. Look at the need to protect thyself. Mm. And protecting thyself from love. Mandrake, wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's those three, bam, bam, bam. Very powerful herbs. Somebody could be a witch here. Somebody's using some sort of protection spell. I feel magic being used maybe by this goat. I'm not sure. Okay, what is the truth? I have eight, car eight cards out. I see that you needed to take a, a step back from a situation. It's either from a relationship, relationship at work, work. Okay, hanged man. You're trying to take a fresh perspective about your life. Your pause. Okay, pause in life. The hanged man hangs to gain wisdom. Okay, to see things from a fresh perspective. And you know that you need to nurture yourself. Queen of Cups. Learning how to parent thyself. This is mother universal energy here. This is somebody who deep who has deep emotions, but is very balanced in their emotional body. Knows that they have to fill their cup up first. Are you... So the questions that are being asked here is, is this because of the goat energy, because of the chariot energy here, because of the six of wands that I see here, because of the star that I see here? This is somebody who I'm speaking to that success is, is like, do, is it, does it fill up my cup anymore? Am I, am I happy? Because I'm in the limelight. I am successful. That's all these energies here. I am being praised. I am being seen. I am determined to be this star, this beam of light, again, that continues. The beam of light. You see what I'm saying? Like, it continues here. Yeah. And then that's the emperor. This is an underlying energy, the boss energy right there. Okay. You, I'm saying that because I have two cards reversed here. I'm, I'm asking questions like this because this is, a, I think about a truth that you're revealing like to yourself here. You don't want to lie to yourself anymore about something about this path to prosperity. This is your last card. Okay. which is the king of pentacles, which is the path to prosperity, to fruit-bearing years. You're on the path, okay? But you are also wanting, thinking about leaving a situation behind. The ten of, this is the Ten of Wands, and it's in reverse. And the Eight of Cups 
Eight of Emotions in reverse. These two being in reverse, it's about, like, does this truly make me happy anymore? I, am I living up to other people's expectations, and uh, and is it become a burden? I really got to nurture myself. This is being this is being stuck in a limbo of like uh, this isn't my truth anymore. I'm I'm fearful of change though. I'm fearful of walking away from something that I've invested a lot of. Uh, Queen of Cups, emotions. My, these are my hopes. These are my dreams. The star card also says that there is, and with this being the last card in your reading here today, this is very balanced energy, divine masculine energy here. Um, it's the sun in the, the window right here drawing you in, okay? Feeling very valued, surrounding yourself with richness, and it's like that Venus energy here that's coming through the card. Love and beauty, feeling stable and grounded. It could be an, a new investor coming into your life as well, knowing that you've got to invest in yourself. It's just this one person here on the path, okay? And the universe is an all loving universe and will support you. Okay, your prayers are being answered. It could even be financially here with this Muse of Materials. Blessings are coming. Okay, and you're going to have choices in love, too. Star card always means healing in reading, but also clarity. And look at that. It's sun energy. It's happiness. Okay? Like, this even reminds me of, like, music paper and, like, a woman dancing here along this. I talked about song and singing to begin with. With that ace of voices. And choices in love as well with the lover's card coming out here. And you're now you're opening up to receiving love where you may have felt left out in the cold. And that was an inner child wound. You've taken a time out to rest and nourish yourself. Okay, and then the Knight of Swords is right underneath that. That like you're, you're, you're moving forward to rebuild your financial security as well as your home foundations with a beautiful tribe here, darlings. Okay, so that's the truth. I think it's something you've been realizing about your own, you know, maybe some things that you've been denying. Especially these two are important. It's something about a fear of change and walking away from something that you know is already burdensome. It's not what's really m m emotionally filling you up. Yeah, it's great to be in this limelight and whatnot and or, or whatever that is. Always working so hard is that goat energy, right? Like, are you the goat is also very playful, darlings, right? That's when we heal some child wounds, we allow the play into our life. You know, like I, I always wanted to work a job that don't feel like a job that, you know, and in relationships too, you know, where it brings out just that inner child, like it brings out the inner happy and then you never work a day in your life kind of thing, you know. And, and then the underlying energy here of this other deck, I want to pull a few love notes from the universe because these are thoughts or feelings or, you know, what's going on in a particular relationship that maybe it's unsaid. That'll come out in these. But you always gain by giving love. Okay? Giving is receiving. Give yourself Queen of Cups. Fill up your own cup. What else needs to come out in this reading so that they know I'm specifically talking to them? That might narrow it down to... Remember, you might be drawn to more than one pile, too, so check out the other messages that come out in the next uh, piles there. Time stamps are down below. Well, this is stuff coming out in the future, so like like I said, you know how I had to wait to record this? I couldn't even push it forward. I couldn't even, you know, it would have made no sense. Just wait for the divine timing, some sort of truth. You're going to feel it. Yeah, revelations of love. And you've been daydreaming. Daydreaming? about love daydreaming about the new that hangman energy there's the revelations of love and it's this is a rainbow colored deck and it's not a lot of times that the white cards come out so white's about innocence purity divinity 
right? That divine truth, absolute truth, the purity of your soul, the revelation of love, epiphanies, the white owl. Oh, I love it. There's more. This is all coming out in the future. Creative cosplay. Ooh, I love that. Within a connection. I love that. Stepping outside of the box, too. Right? And the goat does have a very sexy, uh, lustful energy. <laughs> Just saying. Somebody's still there. Somebody's hardcore dealing with their ego at this time. Hence, why the Ten of Wands reversed and the Eight of Cups reversed. Okay, fear of a letting go of the past or of something that they know no longer is working for them. Okay, and somebody's got some. You know, this landed on the revelations of love. Somebody's healing the heart, heartbroken in the situation. Okay, pink card is about the heart healing. What else? Anything else for this pile? It's a black card now. There's a breakup. Somebody's still healing wounds about a breakup. Heartbroken. Egos involved with that. Kiss me deadly. Yeah, there's a lot of passion in this connection. Think of what else is going to come with this Kiss Me Deadly. I know that it's a song. Again, a song. It's an old song. I don't know who sings it. Kiss me twice. Come on, pretty baby. Kiss me deadly. Like, you know something's not good for you, but you want it anyways? I don't know. <laughs> ah! I thought I had to sing that song. I haven't heard that song in ages. Ay, ay, come on. Okay. Past energy is over here. Flew out. And then some more on the table. And then we're going to leave it there today because there's a lot of messages want to come out. You could be a water sign or dealing with a water sign. What are these? Power couple. Okay. You and your person are a power couple. Another connection here where you are finding about your value. You are enough. At mirrors of truth. This person is a mirror of your life and they bring out a lot of truth. Well, yeah, with all the messages that I've said today. Mm -hmm. Woo, 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 woo. Dog energy. I love it. The best thing to hold on to in life is each other. Audrey Hepburn. Listen more. Talk less. This is this is the beautiful gift of an empath. Okay. Are we listening to respond? Are we listening, right, just to listen? It's okay to take time to formulate a response to yeah. listen, become the observer, become like the child's always listening, the child heart, right? Listen. Song, voice, the ace of voices. Your voice is my favorite sound resonance in your reading right the divine resonance the absolute truth you are my greatest adventure so this person also brings out that adventurous spirit and you warm my heart like the sun sun energy which i absolutely felt here from this card the star i'm gonna leave it there darlings Thanks for all the love that you give the channel. And remember to tune into those other uh, messages, those other piles if you want more messages. There may be some there for you as well. I love you. Bye. Hi, darlings. If you selected pile number two, then these are your messages. This was the image that you selected. And this is an image of Archangel Michael. So we're using the Archangel deck. Maybe you have a special connection. I've always felt connected to Michael. When I was recording the messages, it was a bunch, it was silence. There were no intuitive messages that were coming through until I went to pile three and showed the obsidian mahogany that I had, which is about divine protection in your life. Okay. And then the two acorns rolled away from each other, which are the crystals that are being depicted here. So I very much feel like there's a relationship that I'm tuning into and discovering some sort of truth. 
Um, more than two people could be at play here in this scenario. Um, let's see what Michael has to say on this card as well. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. Okay. Clarity, epiphanies, truth. Um, and also, like, with Michael coming out, I, always, I just feel like there's been some sort of divine protection or intervention in your life. And you need to really ground yourself when the smoky quartz uh comes out okay it is a quartz it is smoky quartz is used for healing of the root chakra and so it can promote feelings of happiness and well-being while eliminating negative thoughts and and healing uh, depression as well so acorn image uh symbolism as well is about you know, the little mighty acorn that turns into this oak tree. So it's about strength and durability and, um, you know, planting seeds, right, for longevity, for growth. And, and the, so it's really talking to with Rose Quartz about tuning into love and self-preservation and nourishing your um, root chakra. Okay, and I'm wearing this red today. Um, and yeah, I definitely feel, uh, like a love connection or something around relationships is coming out in this reading, even just with the two acorns here. And there could be a separation the way they, they rolled apart. Um, so let's see what else comes out. They want me to read to you what Michael has to say, um, with the ace of Michael. And I also have Oracle cards for you today with this truth. So. Ooh, yes. Okay, well, that was purposeful too. When I get to that tarot card, I'll tell you about this king wants to take a leap. He just leaped over the wheel. <laughs> Multiple people showing up in this reading. Just got to say it, okay? And that king is jumpy. The king of pentacles is an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay. So what's Michael got to say here? You've come up with a wonderful new idea. Insight that has previously eluded you shines upon a situation or problem. Now the way forward is clear to you and you move full steam ahead. There is an opportunity here to do things in an entirely new way. Give attention to details in your plan of action, but also keep an eye on the big picture. There could be a bumpy start, but don't let that deter you from continuing to move forward. Yeah, showing all these um, mountains, ice cap mountains down below, but Michael's standing on top of the mountain, the higher vision. It's almost like, it, like you surrendering and uh, like allowing the angels to, you know, help you with new beginnings, magician energy, co-creator energy here, clearing up any kind of communication problems with others. Don't allow misunderstandings to fester, get to the truth of the matter. And it's also a time for you uh, to be honest with yourself in some situation. And look for the silver lining. Don't give up. Okay. And I, I think it's important that I said that because one of your first tarot cards here is it's you almost. I, it, I see you surrendering or feeling defeated or like giving up on a situation the seven of wands in reverse is the card right after ace of michael and the upright is i'm going to stand my ground i'm going to fight for what i believe in you know and this in the reverse is defeated yeah defeated and surrender even stand up for what you believe in have confidence claim your personal power okay sevens are always an evolution, though, is occurring as well. Okay, so let's get to your oracle cards, and we'll go back to this. These tarot cards are jumping at me. They're jumping at me. They're jumping at me. I feel like new beginnings abound once you release some sort of part of the past as well. Past is coming in with the burial ground that came out in the reversal in your reading. Okay? This is absolutely your ancestors coming through in this reading. Okay, to say... I mean, the burial grounds where we put our ancestors to rest, right? Their bones 
create the land. Our bones are in the land. Okay, the bones, your ancestors are in the land is what they're saying. Uh, the land is supporting you. There is this beautiful divine purple connection I hear with the land. and I hear, okay, I see, I feel, I hear. Um, we are connected with our ancestors. They want you to put something to rest. Is it guilt? Is it remorse? What is it? Okay. A reluctancy to let go of a past grudge, a past hurt, something like that. Letting go of the past. There's fear of change here with the will in reverse. Fear of letting go. And new beginnings are right here, darlings. Okay. Um, and eh, like this card pops out. And the underlying energy is the bones. <laughs> I'm talking about the bones in the land, right? Like the bones are here. But I also feel like this looks like a person in the center of a lot of things coming at them. The bones even look like fists, right? The bones are words, a lot of negative energy, a feeling, a sense of defeat, and having to protect yourself all the goddamn time. That bones came out with that, with that kind of energy. Oh, wow. Let's, okay, go to the book here about this burial ground. It's super important in this reading. Protecting yourself in relationships, protecting yourself from words cast upon you with this bones card. That's what I feel. You really take a look at that card. And... Your ancestors are coming through to say they're sorry that, that you feel like you had to protect your child, inner child so much. It's very hard. It's very emotional, the message that they're bringing through. Burning my eyes. I just don't want to blubber on the screen. I mean, yeah. They're, they have deep feelings of regret that you've had to protect yourself so long. Whoever I'm connecting with in three. Okay. Among the standing stones, we can dance. Not the bones. Let's focus on the burial ground. <clears throat> we can dance with the dead, the other kin, the spirits of place, if we dare. But we must be cautious not to lose track of our path or release our ties to this earthly realm, for it is not yet our time to reside outside of it. You see those hills? Are not, they are not just the land. They are made up of the bones of your ancestors. Honor them by walking your path, knowing and respecting your power. So I almost feel they want you to respect yourself now. They want you to stand in your power now. They want you to speak your truth now. They don't want you to feel defeated. Make peace with a the memory, they say. Leave a stone behind to mark the memory's impact, and then you may travel with a lighter spirit moving forward. They also want to remind you that death is a transition, not an ending, darling. Okay? Fear of change, fear of death coming out here as well. Okay. But new beginnings abound. And, like, okay, where do I want to start? <laughs> Two kings on the table and a knight of cups in the reverse. Okay? <laughs> and a four of pentacles here. So a four of pentacles is stubborn to change. Look at this masculine standing in front of this home. Okay? Very determined, very, like, posture, like, stubborn, stiff, four of pentacles. He's like, I'll hold on to things. I got to guard my heart. I got to save, hold on to things. You know, like, yeah, very stubborn energy that always comes out with that four of pentacles. When you give, you also receive. Being resistant to change extremes in how you save or spend money. Four of pentacles can be a lack mindset. There's a, vic there's a wound around the child heart. I'm not feeling worthy of abundance and of beauty and richness in our life. And that, the, you know, that, that we always have more than enough. Okay? 
Um, and this, you're not feeling worthy in this connection here. With, there could be multiple people in your life I'm talking about. There's two kings and this knight of cups. And this knight of cups, you're guarded because this knight of cups is... Oh, in the reverse. Oh, this is some childish behavior, darlings. Okay. I love seeing the Knight of Cups. It's not the King of Cups. But Knight of Cups in the upright is, you know, very much in love and poetic and dreamy and, you know, coming in with a love offer of that, that knight in shining armor, right? But in the reversal, he's overly dramatic, childish temperament, changes their feelings from one minute to the next energy nights are extremes okay so but there's a new beginning right next to this so you could have this knight of cups this water sign cancer scorpio pisces wanting to come back in your life because it's right next to this new beginning but spirit saying like um this could be a cycle repeating as well with this knight of cups be wary of that there's new beginnings coming in the future and it's two kings here and balance, justice being restored. What does this card say? It's Ar Archangel Ragul. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. And I've already feel like you like very much feel like defeated within interpersonal connections or in love connections as well. Um, but there's some sort of if you can put that. Put something to rest, this this feeling, this need to protect yourself. You are worthy of receiving love in your life and connections that feel good um, and so who are who are supportive and that are balanced, that, that we're talked about the root chakra to begin with. Okay? Reciprocity in a relationship with a justice card. What you've been putting out into the world coming back to you um, as well fairness in situations and i've got so i've got an air sign and an earth sign coming in into this reading and they're both kings divine masculine energy here one is more, more both are leaders okay um and neither one of them are very emotional this is somebody who's very smart and intellectual and um highly motivated ambitious and respected okay rational principled okay this could even be a friend that turns into more than that uh, doves speak to peace it's a balanced mindset right wisdom and objectivity are important now stay in your integrity a situation that calls for honest and open communication this person will be an excellent communicator okay And then we've on the other spectrum here, I've got the King of Pentacles. This is somebody who is or sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Successful, stable, accomplished, and powerful. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success use, using your resources wisely. This is also somebody who's very generous. Could it be a benefactor in your life? It's a love connection maybe at work as well. Um King of Pentacles is usually that husband material, leader of the home, uh, surrounds them. When I talk about a generous spirit, just, you know, surrounds themselves with richness in life, is absolutely willing to give kind of an energy. But also, like, they're really focused on building their empire, right? Becoming that emperor as well, so... They could have a mix. If this isn't two people, it's one person that has this both in their chart. Okay? So they're very wise and they're very grounded and they're very stable and they're very generous and they stimulate your mind. Okay? And here's that new beginning card, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. And that's why the... That's why the um, burial ground and the bones was out here as well. I got super emotional with that. It's depicting a family here. Okay, the wounds around the family that happened, the child wounds. This very much feels like the way this person is sitting in the fetal position here. It's child wounds. But healing this 
provides more inspiration in your life as well. The cauldron and the, the inspiration. And the underlying energy here is the magician, which is about a new beginning. Um, you can manifest the life that you want. What you need will magically appear successful new beginnings. And there's even a night behind that. Like I'm telling you, there's so much. I feel like there's so many suitors. We've got to let go of something from the past. This unwillingness to change and feeling so defeated, right? When there's all these new blessings coming in, um, it could be around work or in love. You know, I didn't tune into one of those specifically. But, yeah, taking a new direction with drive and passion. Knight of Wands here, too, and the Chariot. Even travel being depicted here with the horse energy as well. Time to take action, great passion for a cause, instinctively just knowing what to do. And I told you that this king of pentacles here, energy, is also trying to build their emperor. I felt emperor energy there, and, and there it is. Okay, and Michael's here again to say, hey, look, let me help. allow me to help you clear out what no longer serves you as well. Energetic cords, uh, people in your life, right? Look at how he sweeps out the negative energy here. Um, release any attachment to the outcome. There's situations in your life that they no longer serve you. You want these relationships to feel good. Two of cups energy. That's when we start loving ourselves, these connections come in. There's another effing king here. A king of cups is also wanting to come in. So many choices in love and so much happiness coming the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. And somebody's going to take a leap of faith. I said that at the beginning of the reading. That that night, that uh, King of Pentacles wanted to jump. Jump quick. He don't want to jump too in, in, uh, prematurely, right? Taking his time, knowing knowing that he, and he's the manifester, the king, king of Pentacles, right? Trust in divine timing. So, anyways, I kind of went all over the place there, but let's... I want to get a few love notes for this particular situation. Definitely getting rid of this Knight of Cups child, childish energy here. Because you are worthy of king energy. You are healing your the king within you and you pull that into your life. Oh! Yeah, Oof, you've been doing a lot of shadow work. Big chunks just came out here in the past. You've been healing a lot of wounds in the past here. A lot of sleepless nights, darlings. There it is, sleepless night. Bam, okay, doing your shadow work. It's right here. Questioning your own ethics and ethics within relationships. But there's all kinds of clarity coming through compassion, and it starts with yourself. Look at all these yellow cards, which are all about new beginnings. And I told you, we're I'm talking to a lot of the divine masculine within you. That's coming out in this reading with all of these kings. Not one queen came out here today. So that also tells me there's... Mm, you need to nurture yourself, okay? The feminine part of you, right? The intuitive part of you, the the flow part of you, the creative part of you, darlings, okay? I cannot find the words to express how truly I sor sorry I am. And I that I feel like is coming through a passed over loved one as well um, when I felt that deep remorse with the burial ground and the bones. Okay, growing together. You'd love to grow in a connection together. That's heart healing. It's green card un with unconditional love. And I'm your huckleberry. So that's a connection coming in. That's like your ride or die connection. Okay. And we, that means, that means you're loving your inner child. I fucking got you, right? Right? Yeah. And then you draw it in two of cups. But there is that off and on again relationship. It could be with that Knight of Cups that needs to be uh, let Michael clear it out of your life. <laughs> What's the underlying energy here? Unconditional love. Can't make this shit up. Tell me. <laughs> and there's also fire sign. The King of Wands didn't come out, but yeah, yeah, you might be a fire sign and be resonating with this. And you are the closest to heaven that I'll ever be. Goo goo dolls. Maybe. 
one of these suitors here <laughs> is into that. So I love you guys. Uh, remember, you might want to watch, you know, the messages from Pile 3. You might have some messages there as well. And thanks for all the love that you give to the channel. If it was your message today, drop me some love down below. Love you guys. Bye. Hi, darlings. If you picked Pile number 3 with this image, this Ace of Swords from my companion tarot, um, and this beautiful piece of mahogany obsidian, then these are your messages today. Uh, mahogany obsid obsidian um, is used for protection. It's also used um, in by healers to heal um, depressive states as well. Um, and also like if you're feeling a lack of sensuality, sexuality, um, yeah, this, this will help to, um, waken it up again, I guess is the word. Okay. Like I've had to wait a while for this truth to come through, by the way. Yeah. When I do these truth readings, it's all about divine timing. And so, like, I feel kind of even tired in waiting for the messages to come. And it makes sense because um, I love obsidian with the labyrinth energy that I have out here, which is a major right in, in my oracle deck. Okay, and we're going to talk about labyrinth energy. This is about, look at all this blue energy, and blue is... It's about the spirit of truth in your life, okay? And something magically transforming here. We've got this is like a new vision or a new perspective. All these little fireflies talking about magic as well, like something, a, a divine download, a, a divine truth, clarity coming in to a situation. Um, yeah, and then fireflies all about magic. So... They want me to read to you the Ace of Swords from this deck. Wow, I just opened the book right to it. Like, poof, immediately you get this truth. You get this wisdom. Oak energy on the underlying energy. Mm. Old truth, old soul I'm talking to right now. Okay? Swords represent air, the mind, intellect, logic, thoughts, communication, truth, problems, solutions, and action. Aces are a new beginning, a gift, or an opportunity filled with potential. They are freely given and must be accepted or used, or they vanish. Use them well. If you've been seeking a solution or a bright new idea, the Ace of Swords cuts through problems and confusion with ease. There is a lot of confusion here. When we have this gateway energy, this labyrinth energy here, okay? Clarity is a great gift that helps you organize your thoughts and communicate with others. As a tool of intellect, the sword represents your ability to understand and learn, which is essential to effective action and magic. Use this gift to develop a strategy that will allow you to achieve your desires. The sword is a double-edged, making it extra powerful and extra dangerous. It's important to manage your thoughts and use care with your words, or you could do damage to yourself or others. This card also... Associated with ideas about truth, another tricky subject. Be careful to let truth guide you, but also be flexible. Truth can feel absolute, but it changes as you grow. Mm. I love that. I love that. Okay. So let's talk about the gateway energy. Then this is the one oracle card coming into your reading today. Um, what the heck did I do with the book? Lose the book, they say. Oh, I wanted to read to you. Okay, you don't, you don't want me to read to you. I got it, I got it. I don't know, you lost the book. You lost your way. The gateway. Major right in this deck. There is one path in. Okay, and if I were to trace my finger on this path, there is only one path here. Okay, you may feel lost and confused between the twists and turns in your life. The twists and turns in the mind, right? The confusion in the mind. But once you get to the center here, the truth comes. Okay? The clarity comes and you see, I see you. You actually, 
it, it's amazing how this is all about like the twists and turns in our path too and how the paths over cross each other like a connection with a person that helps you see a truth okay some new perspective sometimes we have to be lost uh, in our direction and our mindset to be found do you know what i'm saying okay and the only way out is through And you've learned much wisdom. This is a major right in this deck, meaning it's been an initiation process. You've learning, you're gaining some sort of spiritual wisdom, and now you're going to move forward and apply, integrate your wisdom, darling. You've been suppressing your like. I already talked about that with the mahogany obsidian, <laughs> suppressing some sort of sensuality, sexuality, intimacy, touch. Okay. This is a lack of new beginnings, a lack of progress forward, a lack of direction, a lack of things that make you feel good, passionate, right? But there's restored faith coming in with the star card and you wanting to rebuild again, the three of pentacles, because you've learned some sort of wisdom with the hierophant here and you're ready to take a leap of faith. Because you've gained some sort of new perspective, and it's solid, and it's a brand new beginning. You're going to let go of the past, because you're manifesting. Here's the wish fulfillment, a new future. I mean, that's just all the underlying. I could keep going. Oh, my God. What's on the table, though? What are you dealing with in this now moment? What is the truth, is what I asked. The truth is, is that there are messages coming. <clears throat> First of all, the truth is, is that you're trapped in your fucking head. And spirits guiding you to your heart. Got it? Could be even a person guiding you to this. I see you. Right? The blue energy. The truth. This is all blue. Blue, blue, blue. Hello, blue. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. Inside jokes again. And what came out first, okay, was these two energies. Now, this did not come out in pile one or pile two about these pages. Pages are messages coming, okay, or a messenger person, a young energy, coming into your life with an apology here. This could be you apologizing to yourself. Page of cups, page of swords. Page of swords is super fast energy, moving swift, swift but also stumbles over their own world, words, being a bit little tongue-tied here as well, and this, these are pages. I'm learning how to wield this sword. Sometimes I block my own self with the, the, my egoic thoughts or the negative thoughts, right? I'm learning how to wield my sword. I'm willing. I'm learning that my thoughts create my reality, that my words can be weapons or beautiful tools of creation. These two first. So some self-forgiveness when we go within and some awareness moving forward. That it's okay to be self selfish. Selfish, see how she is looking at this fish here? And to nourish, nourish thyself. Because you've been in fear. What was crossing? This is a crossroads energy too in your life. Okay? Is the fear. Is the moon. Is the illusion. Okay, it landed right on top of this gateway card. The moon. Sideways. So you're releasing some sort of fear about moving forward here. Okay, you've got oak on the underlying energy, acorn turning into this mighty, beautiful oak. Oak is about wisdom, longevity, strength, okay, all that wisdom that you've learned, a heart healing, unconditional heart healing. Look inside that acorn. There's a little doorway, a doorway into the heart here. The seed has been planted of unconditional love. Faith has been restored in your life. Healing is, is, is coming. Um... The truth is you've been blocking yourself. The truth is you've been maybe unwilling to forgive in certain situations. The truth is you've been flock, flocked, blocked by fear. The truth is you've had some sort of mother wounds. The truth is you know you are a fucking manifester, that you got to be in the now and be content where you're at right now and nourish yourself and create the future. This is divine feminine healing coming into your reading, darlings. That you know you're a master alchemist, a brand new beginning. You're creating it. You've been really guarded. 
Four of Pentacles. You've been healing wounds around feeling unworthy in relationships, a lack mentality, a victim mindset even. The things I gotta hold on to things so tightly. Now there's some new truth. It's a new perspective. It's a new power shift here where you're feeling very abundant, feeling very nurtured, feeling the loving mother universal energies flowing into your life as well. It's beautiful. On the underlying energy, on the love notes from the universe I have, I want to hold you until the morning light. That's beautiful, beautiful connection, a mothering, nurturing connection full of touch, right? This might be your love language again. and But you've got all kinds of questions. You're kind of stuck up in your head about it as well. <laughs> Those are the underlying energies. So let's see what else wants to come out about this truth and perspective that you may have to wait for. Like, I had to be really patient in order to, yeah, there's a divine feminine that is coming to your life, or your the divine feminine energy, the, the green card here is about healing to your heart, keeps showing up here, whereas pile two was all about divine masculine, this one's divine feminine energy, mm -hmm. what else? There's some fear of jumping into things, things too quickly with the Page of Swords. There's a, a, a fear of, a, because the Page of Cups is learning about emotional depth, so a fear of being shallow, even. What's this on the table? Forgiveness. I can't make this shit up. Forgiveness. These are so, there's so many green cards. Okay, look at all these colors of the cards, okay? And all of these cards are green. That's so fucking beautiful. Green and blue. I love it. The garden of love. Planting seeds. We talked about that with the acorn energy. Sowing the seeds of love. The seeds of love. Sowing the seeds. Yeah. You always gain by giving love. I mean, these always just work so beautifully. Oh, my God. I just love it. That's the, that's Empress energy. I love that. What else? Waves of emotion you're feeling. <laughs> it's blue. <laughs> of course it is. Waves of emotion. And somebody in your life is just an absolute sweet treat. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a sweet tooth. Maybe you like chocolate. It's brown. I don't know. But sweet treats. You are worthy of sweet treats. One step at a time, darling. One step at a time. What's that one staring at me? There's a connection in your life that is absolutely magnetic and you cannot deny it. One step at a time. Building back your confidence. Okay. Yellow energy. Maybe you're texting this person or emailing this person or maybe you're writing little love notes, sticky notes, and sending them to this person. Maybe this is part of your love language or somebody else's love language. Love notes. The, the, the heart and the arrow there makes me feel like somebody's been struck by Cupid's arrow. Yeah, it's electric. It's electric. Magnetic, electric, green. You know it. Yeah, magnetism, electric, electricity. There's a lot of passion in this connection. Maybe that's what this is about as well reviving this this is what I usually call the throbbing wand this is your creative force yeah mm, it's really it's lit two peas in a pod <laughs> what, that? what else anything else for the, the love notes from the universe anything else I need to see more green like seriously this is so beautiful I love this unconditional love. That's the truth. It's all over. It's all green. God, I love the green. I love green. I remember you. It's like you remember this person from a past life connection. Oh, my God. That's so beautiful. This is your sign, 11-11, 13-55 on the clock. Maybe you need to set some healthy boundaries, setting firm boundaries. I will never stop trying, and sometimes all you need is a hug. I love that. It's the underlying energy. It could be a connection from the past, the past life connection that I talk to you about off and on again. Um, that could be you, too, like, with that off and on, like, being stuck up in your head about something. 
Um, be strong moving forward. Have faith that you can rebuild and that this is a, like, you know that, that this is a, when these two come out together, this is a sacred marriage card. And you're ready to take the leap of faith because it's all about this feather and this white rose. Divine love, purity, and passion, darling. Mm. Mm. And the feminine, yeah, is all over in this reading, helping to reignite that. We all have divine feminine in, our, in, our, in us, right? But I just feel like it's somebody that's helping you come through with see some truth about yourself and where you've been holding yourself back as well. And where you've been guarded and the universe is an all loving universe and you create that with this kind of energy. Okay. Feminine flow, receptivity, intuition, content, excellent communication skills here. Right. Manifestations with this energy. Nurturing what you love, nurturing your life. You're not going to live in fear anymore. Mm -hmm. I love that because the oak tree's here, man. Mm, I love that. That's solid. Yeah. All right. I love you guys. That's all I got for this reading today. I'm kind of poop doing this, but a lot of truths came to the light through the course of this pick a card reading. And I'm glad that I did it. You know, um, I'm very much tuned in to the energy. So I kind of let it like, okay, my day's readings. How long is it going to take me? It took me my entire day just to record this. <laughs> We're learning all sorts of lessons about divine timing, y'all. Patience and flow. and mm, It's beautiful. So sending you so much love. Take care.